Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert of Texas is here with me now, where President Trump will tour the border tomorrow in your state, but he's coming to the Capitol in the next few minutes. You and I may inherit that breaking news together and we'll handle it as it comes. First of all, uh, your comments on where we are after the president's address last night with being able to make a deal to open the government and get a wall. Well, it, it's, it's an extraordinary time. I, historically speaking, we haven't seen this kind of hatred for a president and refusal to do what's good for a country since John Quincy Adams. Uh, even th back then as now, even though they know something's good for the country because they have walls themselves, they have gated communities, and yet they will not allow that for America. They will not allow us to help save American lives just because of their contempt for this president. It's outrageous. And have you ever remembered a time in American history when with a shutdown going on that one party leader would take off on vacation to why? I mean, that's such arrogance right. as well as contempt. It's extraordinary time. They've said they're not negotiating. They Co are not Congressman going to Gilmer, give a wall. So, I, yeah. I need to step in. You and I sure. are about to handle this together. I want to get your thoughts as the president of the United States well, arrives on Capitol way. Hill to talk about the wall and reopening the government. What, what is yep. about to happen? What do you think we'll begin to hear and see that's been different? Well, my hope is that you're going to have a speaker and a leader in the Senate that realize they are starting to be politically hurt by what they're doing and what they're denying to America. That's only when we're going to finally get some kind of agreement here because so far they've just taken the position wall is not an option, fence is not an option, we're not letting you have any barrier. Uh, but uh, uh, Mo Brooks, I found, had already filed a bill when I got ready to, to, to file one that says, basically, let's pay the people who are currently essential and are working, TSA, the FAA, those that are working, for heaven's sake, let's get them paid. And I think that the pressure will mount to pass such a bill so that we can take care of those if Pelosi and Schumer continue to not allow any kind of barrier at our border. You know what I'm hearing from you, compromise. You're saying Mo Brooks floated this, you would yeah. float the same thing. And we got word Fox News was advised of a revamp schedule for the House to pass individual spending bills, financial services today, agriculture, transportation, housing tomorrow, interior on Friday. Before I ask you the question, President Trump is about to ascend the steps there on Capitol Hill. And as you yep. are talking with me, we want to draw our attention to what's about to happen now. Uh, and if there's a way to listen to the president uh, as he is making some comments, we'll take you there. But for right now, okay. we are watching this unfold. So my question for you is, do you get those bills done in the House and then reopen? Not if there's no wall funding. The, the president's made that clear. We've made that clear. We have a, uh, a veto-proof majority or margin in the House and Senate. They are going to have to provide some type of barrier, uh, the way President Obama has around his house. We need that for at least part of our border. And if they're not going to do that, the the government, the partial government shutdown, is not going to stop. So uh, Mo Brooks, out of Alabama, puts yep. this forth, and you've got your colleagues there. And what is the mm -hmm. talk now? Are there any defections? Because we're seeing some movement among uh, Republicans in the Senate, Lisa Murkowski now joining them, that they might vote mm -hmm. with Democrats to reopen the government without the wall funding yet mm -hmm. and talk about it later. Yeah, my understanding is they don't have the votes in the Senate. And uh, the leader, McConnell, is not going to bring the bill to the floor without them having the votes to, to uh, pass it. And uh, even if they did, we should have a veto-proof uh, margin in both the House and Senate. Uh, so there were, what, six, seven House members of Republicans that voted for bill um, mm -hmm. last week. So you have some, but... It's not enough to right. get the government open, so we ought to at least pay those who are working now. Excuse me, That's the President compromise. of the yeah. United States, the Vice Great. President, they're walking Great. in for this GOP policy lunch. This is their third gathering of lawmakers with the President to talk about the issue of wall funding.
That's a big uh, deal. They're coming to us. That's a big deal. Support. All right, let's listen to the president. I think we're going to win. But we need, listen, we need border security. Very simple. How long do you want to let this shutdown last, Mr. President? Whatever it takes. Mr. President, your leadership will be protected from the manufacturer's price and say, okay, well, what you should do is take a look at last night and see the results this morning. The people know we need border security. Thank you very much. And I want to thank Congressman Gomert of the great state of Texas. Uh, he has left us, but he'll definitely come back, and I'll talk with him at another time. Uh, his last words to us before the president and the vice president walked up, and we heard from President Trump, from Congressman Gomert, he said, this is a big deal that he's coming to us on the Hill. This is a big deal at this juncture. So the